this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Star Crash Special DK in the colour Aspen. You will need some scissors and a darning needle for finishing off your project and you will also need a crochet hook. I'm using a 5mm crochet hook today but you can check your yarn label to see which is best to use for your particular yarn. To start this tutorial you want to make your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Insert your hook and you're going to begin by chaining your first length. So this is however long you want your rectangle to be. So if you want a longer rectangle, this first chain is going to be longer. Or if you want a shorter rectangle, it's going to be shorter. So you want to begin by chaining your length in multiples of three. So it's yarn over and pull through. One, two and three and then keep going until you get to the right length so one two three so that's six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I'm going to stop at fifteen thirteen fourteen and fifteen then from here we're going to add another um, chain three and this is going to be our turning chain. So what I would suggest that you do is you take your finger and thumb and place it um, in this area here and you're going to chain three. One, two and three. And this is going to act as our first treble. Now that's treble in the UK. In the US this is known as a double crochet. Now what we're going to do is begin by forming our cluster of three trebles to fit with the traditional granny square pattern. And we're going to do that in this uh, space here where you put your finger. So it's the fourth chain from the hook. So you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that's our second treble. And then do one more, which will be our third. So exactly the same as before. Now what you want to do is make the corner, because this is going to be the top of our rectangle. So you're going to chain three, and that's going to be the same for every corner that you do. And in the next chain down from the one that you've just been working in, you're going to do a cluster of three trebles. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, and two, and three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip two chains. So make sure that you're ch counting your chains properly. So skip this one, skip the next one, and then work into the next chain, three trebles. Before we uh, start working into here, we are just going to chain one to bridge the gap between the two. And we're going to do three trebles in that third chain along. So one, two, and three, chain one, and repeat. So skip two stitches, and then do the same in the third stitch, all the way to the very end of your chain. What you should find is when you get to the end, you have one chain remaining. So if you want to pause the video here, Work your way along the chain and meet me back right at the very end. I'm now at the end of my row and if you have chained 15 like I did, you'll have a cluster at the top or at the very end of your chain just here and you'll have one, two, three, four, five clusters um, along your chain. Obviously if you did um, a shorter chain you'd have less or a longer chain you would have more. 
So I've just finished my last cluster here and as I said before you will have one chain left over which is what should be uh, there um, and I am going to chain three because this is going to be the corner. So chain three and then I'm going to do a cluster in that very top uh, chain or that very last chain. So just three trebles exactly the same as what we've been doing before. That's one, two, and three. And I'm going to turn my work round now because I'm going to start working along the other way. And this again is a corner. So we're going to chain three. And then we're going to start working our way back along in the same um sections as what we've done our other clusters in so it should be really easy to see at the base of these clusters here can you see that open chain there that's where you're going to do your next uh, set of three trebles so it's one two and three and then you're going to chain one and do your next set of three trebles in the next space. So work your way along into this last uh, space just here and I'll show you how to finish off the corner and connect this round. Pause the video and I shall see you in a moment. So I'm now at the end of this row and what you should find your pattern looks like is this. So you have um, like a symmetrical pattern down the middle and then a cluster of trebles at the end here with a chain three either side which makes your corner. So now we've got to the opposite side you're going to chain three one two and three and then you're going to insert your hook into the third chain from the bottom. Uh, this is the very first chain three that we did. So insert your hook and then yarn over and pull through all of the loops on the hook to make a slip stitch. Now you're ready to start your next row. So we want to get up to the right height, which is a chain three, one, two, and three. And what we do here, because we're starting on the very edge of this, um, this corner, we're going to pretend like this is the last stitch of a cluster in here. So you want to chain another one, so you're going to chain four for, first of all, and then we're going to start working into the next corner. So you want to go straight in there and do a cluster of three trebles. That's two and three. Whenever you're working in a corner, you're always going to form another corner in that section. So we're going to chain three, so that makes your corner. And because this is a larger gap, you're then going to do another cluster of three trebles in that very same gap. Oops. And that has just built another corner for this round. So after you've done your three trebles, you're going to chain one and then you're going to move across into this next space here and do another cluster of three trebles. So one, two, and three. Chain one and move across into the next space. So work your way along this row. Um, stop when you've done um, your last cluster and I shall show you what to do again in this next corner. I've worked my way along the edge now. I've done my last cluster here. I'm going to chain one as if I'm moving across as normal into the next space. You're going to do three trebles. One, two, and three. And again, because this is a corner section, we're going to build another corner section. So you can just pull those trebles round chain three, turn your work, um, so you're working from the top and this will just help you mentally see where uh, this corner is and then you're going to do another three trebles 
in that very same space and that finishes off that corner. We're going to chain one and as you can see you're going to work into your next corner. So a cluster of three trebles. A chain three and a cluster of three trebles again. You will now be working down the side of your uh, rectangle. So you just do same as normal, chain one, and then work your treble, three trebles into this space, chain one, etc. So pause the video, work your way until your last treble, and I shall meet you back and show you what to do from there. I'm now at the end of this row, and this is where people can sometimes get confused because they see the chain three here, and they also see the chain three um, here. Um, just be aware that this is obviously your first round or your first row so this is actually the corner that we're going to be working in so I've just done my last treble and I'm going to chain one and do a cluster of three trebles in this space here which is the corner and just as before we're building a corner so we're going to chain three one two three and if you turn your work to the top you know you're working along the top edge now at the beginning of this row we did a chain three and then another chain so we chained four in total and I did say because this is going to class as a treble uh, from the, uh, your last cluster so what we do here is we only chain but, sorry, we only do two trebles, that's one and two, and this one is classing as a treble. So what we do is we are going to attach this to here. So we're going to look which one is our third chain from the bottom, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, and that connects those two together. You will now continue in the same process. Uh, what you will do differently for this round is chain three, one, two, three. And you can see that we're actually starting on this side of the stitch. So we can go ahead and just do two more trebles and that makes our cluster. And you will find that um, it will alternate from one row to another. So the next row will be the same as the previous row you'll have to chain four and move over to the next stitch whereas this one you'll have to chain three and do two more stitches in that same space so here I'm just going to chain one and then start working my corner and work all the way around um, until we get to the last space so work your way round using the same procedure I will meet you right back in this very last corner here just to show you how to connect this round. So I'm back and I've just worked my last corner um, of this round. I've just done my cluster of three trebles. Now I need to connect this cluster of trebles to this cluster of trebles. I will chain one as normal like we do between each cluster. And all I'm going to do is insert my hook into the third chain from the bottom and slip stitch those together. Like I said before, now you're starting in the other side of um, the stitch from the next row. So you're going to chain four and then start working into this next space and then you're going to work onto the corner. So with each row uh, you do, you're going to have one more stitch in between. So this is the first here and you've got one then in the next round you have two and in the next round you have three and you're just going to build and build and build. So that is how you do your rectangle granny. You can swap colours as much or as little as you like. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!